take a look at this. This cracker, hardtack, is an MRE cracker. And this is the first time ever that I've gotten one that wasn't broken. I'm gonna cherish this moment. Unbroken cracker with strawberry jam on it. Oh, yes, friends. It's on. I know what some of you were thinking. Was it going to last the first bite? There it is. There it is. Hi, everybody. From Mount Survivalist here. And you're like, what are you in right now? I'm in one of my favorite tents, um, the Teacup. It's a great tent, great tent. Uh, man, really, really awesome tent. Oh, look at this. I mean, I can almost sit up in. Um, I mean, you can sit up in. I mean, I'm scrunching just a little bit, but not too much. And I'm about 5'11", so. Uh, but yeah, that's a double door, as you see right here. Double door. Pretty cool. So, let's get on with the overview. Okay, so with this tent, you get a bag for steaks bag of cordage, instruction manual, your main body and rain fly bag, and a pole bag, which holds three, uh, three poles in it. And, uh, okay, here we go. So as you see, this is the construction of it, which is awesome. This is an individual combat tent um, in Woodland. I like Woodland way better than I like ACU. More than enough room for me. Uh, you have a nice vestibule in there so you can put your gear, boots. Pretty awesome. I got this makeshift. Okay, so in this uh, teacup tent, oh, it's quite roomy, really. Uh, th this is why it's my favorite tent. Plus the the waterproofing is is, is all there. Um, it's supposed to be raining later on, so I'm definitely gonna gonna um, do a review while I'm in it. You know what I mean? Just so I can show you and all that stuff. Um, it does have the double doors, as you see right... Oh, see? Screen right here. Right there. Um, and the screen right here. It's double doors. Um, really helps if you break ass. You know, you can air it out quick. Uh, also helps with gear. You know what I mean? Um, no matter what, you can throw your gear in whatchamacallit can escape out shit like that if you have to uh, it does have these little loops oh, yeah. on top of the tent it does have these little loops here um, this is very top of the tent so you can definitely hook up some sort of lanyard or some shit hook up a light source if need be and they have four other ones so that's pretty cool um, I'm actually gonna make a makeshift like mesh screen with a little hammock, gear hammock. Uh, it's, you know, it's cozy. I, I don't know how to say, um, I don't know what else to say on it. You know, I just gotta wait until the rain comes. Um, right now I'm just doing a test on controlled conditions. Um, then later I'll do an actual field test I already know pretty much how these tents are going to react because I, you know, I, I own a couple of them. So, but 
it's uh I just want to I just want to film it um so these are really three season tents they're not really made, designed for uh for four season um I've actually camped out in one during the winter and it, and you know it was it was like anything but the uh but the no see them well the the, the coating on the this coating right here this rubberized coating was literally chipping away because it was so cold out uh so you have to get a four season tent unfortunately but i was hoping i, I took a took a drawer on it and i was like yeah i was like hmm, maybe and uh <laughs> nope no win there but hey um could you survive in the winter with this with one of these yeah sure you know what i mean if, if a pinch if it came down to a pinch hell yeah hell yeah you can definitely do it um but you definitely uh, if you're thinking about that i would definitely get the uh Arika four season marine four season tent those things are badass they weigh a lot but you know what i mean but you're gonna be all you know hunkered down with gear anyways because it's winter Oh, excuse me. So, um, pretty much, if you use this in conjunction with a uh, bivy bag, um, you're actually would stay warmer, even in this weather. Um, I how to sleep in this bad boy because it's still pretty cold out here in Vermont. It, it drops down to its twenties still, twenties, uh, thirties. So, yeah, it still gets pretty 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 cold so yeah uh the floor is definitely heavy duty you know what i mean this is not a lightweight tent you know what i mean this is not a tent for like weekend campers uh this is definitely a tent for uh for you know hard you know hard body guys you know what i mean this it's meant to take punishment and that that's what i like about these tents um, I, I'm, I'm the type of guy, you know, you want good, your military surplus is the way to go. You know, you want, you know, good, good shit, military surplus, because it can last you a lifetime if you take care of it, you know, and these things are just built for punishment. So if you, you know, it will last your lifetime because if you take care of it, then it's gonna, you know, I have bags that I had, uh, since I was, you know, a kid. You know, military patch since I was, you know, since I was a kid. So it lasts you forever. You know what I mean? It's awesome. Um, I do like that double door though. Double door. Um, so this is the best way to practice, uh, you know, doing gear, seeing what your gear is capable of. In controlled conditions, uncontrolled, uncontrolled additions. If a surprise would ever hit, obviously you know that, you know you're fucked. You have to roll with it. Uh, with this, you can actually see it, you can view it, you can touch it, you can taste it. You know, you can feel it up. You can do all kinds of stuff, and then you can work out the kinks here. You know, in this area, not out in the bush where you're really gonna need it, where your life depends on it. Um, this shelter is just mainly for me, a foul weather shelter. Um, I generally like to sleep underneath the stars or inside my bivy bag. Uh, it's after reenacting, man. I just now, I mean, holy cow. When I do the Rogers Rangers thing, you'd just be sleeping on these stars all the time. Um, what else? What else is there? You know, there's no little pockets you see on the side here uh, that, that you see in other tents. Um, there's no pockets like that whatsoever. Um, I mean, it wouldn't be that hard to put pockets in there, but why? You know what I mean? Um, get the little warning thing right here. Keep the flames away. And yeah, okay, so... Uh, all right, let's wait for the rain. Now, as you see, I got the rain fly off. I got a setup. 
You can quite literally use the rain fly alone. If you have like a bivy bag, go inside it. Let's see. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. So you could use it in a pinch. Um yeah. stories with Bill okay I was a door gunner on a on a Yui helicopter along the Chinese Sea and we're flying along and all of a sudden it sounded like freight trains going over top of us and I could see something way out in the ocean and the New Jersey had had showed up and it was probably about 20 miles off the coast and it was shooting over us and the rounds actually sucked the air out from our rotor blades and we started falling we dropped about 200 feet before we could get it, any air to, to fly and I'm I'm hanging on the pylon system halfway out of the helicopter. And a, and a pilot said, what the hell is that? I says, there's a big battleship out there shooting. So, so he went right down to the deck on, over the ocean and and we got the hell out of there because the New Jersey was shooting all six of its main guns. <laughs> It sounds like freight trains going over top of us. That's it. <laughs>